but today is Vita Day 21 your time. I'm recording this on Vita Day 20. Um, I just wanted to do another update. I was actually going to combine this in with um, the update on Vita Day 19 and I cut it out just to make that video a bit shorter and also um, because I was getting some more news today and I just figured I would do it all in one. So, anyways, um, last week sometime, I don't remember the date, my clinic called me and they, just to remind me that Saturday was going to be my last day of birth control and then they asked me to tell them when I started my period and then if I hadn't started it by Wednesday, today, uh, to let them know. And so for the first time, I think ever, I was looking forward to a period, not not forward really, but looking looking for it, kind of wanting it, you know? So I waited and I didn't think anything would happen on Sunday, but I was pretty sure Monday. And so I waited through Monday and nothing happened. And on Tuesday, I was a little crampy. So I was like, oh, it's coming. And then nothing happened. Last night, Tuesday night, um, I was crampy again, so I figured it would come in the night because uh, pre-babies, that's when it happened a lot. It kind of came at night. And so I was thinking at night, and I woke up this morning, and everything was fine, and it hadn't started. So um, in the past day or two, I had talked to a couple other sorrows and said, like, hey, um, they told me to tell them if it hadn't started. What are they going to do if it hasn't? Like, because they didn't want really to talk to me about that. They didn't say, oh, Michelle, your cycle's going to be canceled or you can't transfer. Or... They didn't say anything like that. They didn't say what they would do. So one of the surrogates I talked to, and a couple others agreed, but one of them had actually experienced it. Um, they said that they give you a drug called Provera, which I think it's also another type of birth control. Do not quote me, but I think it is. And um, you take it for a couple days, and then when you come off of it, it basically makes you have a period. And they told me that it was more intense one, heavier, just that sort of thing. And so I was like, please start, because I really don't want to have a crappy period. Like. I am so weak now because I haven't had one. I used to have really, really bad ones um, before babies. And then they weren't too horrible. They weren't lovely, but they weren't horrible after I had my son. And then um, they started kind of getting more intense and then I got pregnant with the twins. And then I've had one and a half and then some random days of spotting after the twins. That's all I've had. And so I'm just paranoid about it anyways, and then to make it worse than normal, ugh. Anyways, so I wasn't looking forward to it, but I was like, hey, if that's what it takes, then I guess I'm gonna have to do it, you know? And I was just hoping that if they did do that, it didn't delay the transfer, or if it did, it was only like a day or two, you know? So today, like I said, nothing happened, so I um, emailed them and didn't hear from the clinic. and. Um, it came to the time where I usually take my medicine, and today on my med calendar, I was supposed to decrease Lupron by half, and then I was supposed to start estrogen tablets at half in the morning and a half in the evening, half of a tablet, I mean, in the morning and in the evening. And so I was like, well, I don't know what it does. I don't want to start med or do my estrogen today, and then they're like, no, you screwed something up, you know, so... I called them and they hadn't seen my email yet, so I was like, hey, this is what's happening. And, oh, so good what I heard. So, um, the, she asked me if I had any symptoms of it started. I was like, well, I was kind of crampy yesterday, but then nothing happened. And she's like, oh, okay. And I was like, and I, I explained, I was like, I was about to take my meds and I didn't know if I should start or not. <laughs> and so, um, basically what, happened after we chatted a bit um she said that since i had been on active pills for so long and i had had spotting in the past and i had a couple days of like almost period f heavy flow um they said that basically like there's really not anything to get rid of you know so um 
my lining just might be so thin it's not really shedding which isn't a problem actually um, so they just said that they um, since I did have kind of cramps she wanted me to wait one more day so I'm gonna wait till tomorrow and if nothing's happened then I just start the estrogen and decrease the Lupron like normal and I um, and I'll just continue on and then the next Wednesday I'll continue my medicines and it doesn't throw anything else on the calendar off so that's kind of cool I think <laughs> so um, my thought behind why I think it's cool other than that I don't have to have a period is because whether I don't I just have a really thin lining or whatever the reason is that I'm not having a period I know it's not because I'm pregnant before you ask for sure not pregnant um, I know that that lining will just kind of add to whatever lining I get while I'm on the estrogen. I think I mentioned in one of my other videos that I was a little worried about my lining because last time I was on so much estrogen and I had an amazing lining. I think at transfer I was at 14 or 15 millimeters and they only wanted 7. So I had a super thick lining and lots of room for the babies to snuggle in so I wanted that this time and since I'll be almost estrogen I was worried that like oh maybe like half the estrogen so I'm thinking crap maybe I'm only gonna have like half the lining like I don't know how my body responds is it I don't know if that's just normal for me as far as do I always have that thick of a lining or is it because of the estrogen or whatever so I did some looking online and I found some um, natural ways to do it. I also have some other surrogates. So one of the top things I saw was this, which is see like la arginine, and this is heart health. But basically, it is to um, it promotes stimulation of nitric oxide, which helps support blood flow, promoting vascular function and circulation. And uh, so basically, the theory behind it is that. The more blood flow you have going to your uterus and everything, the thicker your lining's going to be. So, a couple of the circuits recommended this, so I picked up some of this, um, and I will stop it uh, probably right around the same time I start progesterone, because um, it says if you're pregnant or nursing, um, consult your doctor. And so I just don't want to risk it if I'm going to be pregnant, right? So um, the other thing I saw was um, B vitamins, so I have a B complex here, and I actually had these already at home, so I didn't have to buy those, which was awesome. And the other thing was vitamin E, and it's another heart health one. Um, it says vitamin E, a powerful antioxidant, helps promote a healthy heart. Vitamin E may also support a healthy immune system, prostate, and mental health. I think my prostate's okay, but, <laughs> um, no, seriously, but anyways, they said that too, and basically, here's the theory behind this one. Um, if you think about vitamin E, um, people say it stimulates cell growth, right, so it's good for your hair, it's good for your nails, so if it's stimulating growth, then, I don't know, see where I'm going with it? So, that was another one I saw, um, and then um, I picked up three other things which I'll go through in a second but anyway so long story short I figured if I combined those and the estrogen I'd maybe have like a thickish lining and now if I don't have a period that's I don't have to shed a lining and regrow it so um, I'm hoping that whatever lining I do have right now although t small or thin or whatever just adds to all the estrogen and everything and makes a nice cushy, squishy lining for baby to snuggle into. <sighs> so yeah, anyways, um, today was just loop on like normal. Tomorrow I'll switch it up, go down half, and then um, start estrogen. The other things I picked up yesterday, they probably thought I was some crazy person. I don't know, I just, I felt really weird because I picked up five bottles of vitamins. I usually have, um, most of these stopped, which is kind of funny. But uh, between the twins and my pregnancy and everything, I am like, I have tons of vitamins. And um, we are still living on um, what we brought up originally. We haven't went back down to get all of our stuff. And so I have a box 
of prenatals and all that stuff that are not expired, don't worry, that are in um, storage right now. And I can get to them, so I just bought some to last me until I do, which I'll probably be going down um, either late September or early October to get everything, so. Anyways, I bought some prenatals. These are just the cheapy Walmart brand, but I figured, hey, for now it'll be fine. I think I'm going to see about ordering the ones I had with the twins because I liked them a lot. The ones I had with Cody made me sick. So, anyways, these have um, folic acid in them, so I didn't buy folic acid separately, but I did buy DHA. And, um, yeah, so there's that. And then I bought this because, if you remember my last pregnancy, the one with the twins, um, I was a little low on potassium, so they were worried about my heart. I didn't, nothing, nothing happened, nothing bad happened to babies or me or anything, but they checked my blood and they were like, wow, your potassium's really low. So um, I was in the hospital anyways for um, a gallbladder infection and they put me on a potassium drip just to raise it. So um, I wasn't taking any extra potassium. The only vitamins I was getting was in my prenatals at the time. So. I am going to take extra potassium and just kind of keep on top of that this time and I'm probably going to be asking the doctor to um, kind of keep track of that for me like maybe I don't know maybe once a trimester once a trimester or so just to check that level for me that way um, I don't have another oh you're really low you know so Anyways, that is my update for today. Sorry it's super long. I'm going to try to edit some of my bl blabbering, blabbering down like that. Anyways, um, see you guys tomorrow for Vita Day 22. Bye.